Hello and welcome to another video. This is another integration problem and as you can see there are two functions of x. You've got e to the 1 over x and you've got x cubed under. So um, it, it's more like a quotient function if it was derivative or it is a product. So since we don't have the quotient rule and the product rule for integration, you know you'll have to either do u substitution or trig substitution, which we, we call both of those uh, change of variables, or you may have to do integration by parts. Um, but right now, it doesn't look like integration by part is gonna help us. And already I can see, because it looks like this one over x will be my u, because I don't know how to deal with that. I'll have to make it u. And if I make it u, then can I get one over x somewhere else? It looks like it. I, I already played with this, so I know where I'm going. So before we get into the video, I have an appeal. I need to get my number of subscribers to 10,000. I'm close to that. It's about 2,200 away by the time you're watching this video. Um, I would like you to subscribe and share this video with as many people. Talk about the channel with your friends or people who you think might need some of my videos. And I'll appreciate that. Okay, right now, go down and like this video. And let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is choose my U. My U is gonna be this because I don't know how to deal with that actually. So I'm gonna say, um, let U be equal to one over X. So immediately I need to find the derivative of U. I know that DU is gonna be the derivative of one over X. And if you've done a lot of derivatives, you know that that's the derivative of one over X. Just just write it as x to the negative one, and then you bring this one down, that's negative one times x to the negative two, which you can write in this form. Okay, so basically, that's that. So the next thing you wanna do is try to see if you can write um, just, oh, dx, sorry. You wanna write dx, you wanna isolate just dx and du. Um, it looks like I got this. So now another strategy you have to, or it's just manipulation. You have to be able to generate something. You want to replace this dx here with du or any form of du, any scalar multiple of du. When I say scalar, it has to be a number, not x. You don't want x to be a part of what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to try to rewrite this expression so that I can generate one over x squared as part of what I'm getting. I can move this negative sign, it's not a problem because a negative sign going here is just a scalar multiple of du which is negative one times du, that's fine. I just don't want this x squared to go back here. I want it to stay here. So see what I'm gonna do. I am going to write this expression, okay? I'm gonna erase it but I want you to see it. You see this expression on top, zero to one, this integral, I'm gonna write it as one over x cubed times e to the one over x dx, okay? Which is gonna be the same thing. Now see what I need. I, because I already made u one over x, I'm going to write this expression as the integral from zero to one of one over x times, so now I, this is my u, I already have u. Then I also have e to the u, okay? Then I'm going to multiply it by one over x squared dx. Do you see what I've just done? This expression is exactly this because if I multiply everything together, oh, come on, one over x, come on. Let's still keep it as one over x. So, as you can see, I have rewritten this expression, broken it down to things that are relevant to my u substitution. I can replace this part, one second. I can replace this part with negative du because that's what I'm gonna get. If I move this negative here, I can have negative du equals one over x squared dx. So I can replace that with negative du. This expression can stay as, so this one stays and this one I can replace with u. So that this expression 
is the same thing as the integral. Now I need to change the boundary since everything is now no longer in terms of x plus du. I'm going to come back to that. But you want to change 1 over x now to u. You want to change e to the 1 over x to e to the u. And you want to change 1 over x squared dx to negative du. And then you need to change these bounds. Now this new bound is going to be the value of u when x equals 0 and the value of u when x is equal to 1. Basically, that's what you want. And this is a multiplication. So now I'm going to transfer this here, write it neatly, get all the ingredients that I need to get. Okay? Firstly, I want to take care of these two. Okay? Um, what will the value of u be when x is 0? Let's evaluate that here. Okay? So I'm going to say u evaluated when x is 0. See, so u is a function of x. It's going to be 1 over 0. Uh-oh. And that's going to be... That's infinity. <laughs> Interesting. And... We're going to evaluate u when x is 1. That's going to be 1 over 1. That's going to be 1. So what we have in essence, I'm going to move this negative sign all to the back here. What we have is going to be equal to the integral negative. I'm going to put the negative outside. The lower boundary is going to be infinity. The upper boundary is going to be 1. Nice. Okay, so let's put it in the middle here. And then, the rest of it, I'm just going to write u e to the u du. It's going to be u e to the u du. So at this point, you may be wondering, how could I integrate when one of the boundaries goes to infinity? It doesn't make any sense. Okay? Um, yeah, that's what you call an improper integral when one of the boundaries is such that you don't have, it's not, re, it's not real, or the function is gonna, not going to be defined at that point. Because we don't even know what infinity is, and we cannot plug in infinity even after we take the integral. So, um, there's something we've got to do. We've got to rewrite this whole expression, okay? And in order to take care of this, firstly, I'd like to flip this and then change the sign. Remember, you can flip this and then multiply this by a minus. So I'm going to rewrite this as equal to the integral from 1 to infinity of u e to the u du. Okay, this is exactly this. It doesn't change anything. Now, let's take the integral of this. I'm going to use the di method, okay? It's integration by parts, but I'm going to use the di method for this. But before I do that, I need to write this expression. This expression can be written as this expression can be written as the limit. As I'm going to choose the letter R, as R goes to infinity of the integral from 1 to R. Do you see that instead of me writing infinity here as the upper boundary, I'm going to choose it as a real number. That's what I'm thinking my R is. So let's assume R is a real number, but that real number is approaching infinity. What's going to happen is the same thing as you having infinity as the upper bound. Okay, so my real number is approaching infinity of this integral. Should have u um, e to the u du. So this makes a lot of sense, a lot of sense. So let's quickly integrate this and then take the limit. This is, this is so cool. So here, we've got d and we've got i, okay? Now, how do you use this method? Okay, in another video, I already explained how to use the di method, so I'm just gonna use it, okay? Um, Firstly, I'm going to decide which of these two terms I can easily differentiate. And if I differentiate it, I'm going to get something either consistent or something that goes to zero. Going to zero is more important, okay? I know if I differentiate u, I'm going to get one. With respect to u, I'm going to get one. And if I differentiate again, I'm going to get zero. So because I know there is hope to get to zero, that's what I must choose to differentiate. So I will differentiate u. And the other one, automatically, I will integrate e to the u, as long as it's possible to integrate it. But the good thing is, both of them are easy. So, and then I'm going to put plus or minus, or plus or minus. I just keep going perpetually like that and see what's going to happen. If I differentiate u, I'm going to get 1. If 
I differentiate one, I'm gonna get zero. That's the end of it. Once you get to zero, you stop. If I integrate e to the u, I'm gonna get e to the u. If I integrate e to the u again, I'm gonna get e to the u. Okay, so now I'm done because I stopped, I got, got to zero. Now I'm going to connect my answers. This is just a fast way to do integration by parts. Okay, and then I'm gonna put an integral on the very final one. Okay, but here's my answer. This is equal to the limit as r goes to infinity of this integral now can be written as you do this multiplication plus u times e to the u that's u e to the u and then you come here you're done with this you come here you do minus one times e to the u minus one times e to the u is just e to the u then you come here because you got to zero now you go horizontally okay once you stop, you have to go horizontally, the last one. It will be plus the integral, watch, of zero times this. But well, the integral of zero is zero. So we're not gonna take it, and this is our answer. And then this we have to evaluate from one to r. So let's go. Okay, so this is gonna be equal to the limit as r goes to infinity of if we first plug in r, we're going to get r e to the r minus e to the r minus, this is going to be, if we plug in 1, it's going to be 1 times e to the u, that is e minus e. Oh, that's 0. So what we have here is the limit as r goes to infinity of <laughs> e to the r into r minus 1. This is 0, so that doesn't count anymore. And so what would this answer be? Just watch this. This is going to be equal to, this is going to be infinity, and this would be infinity minus 1. So we end up with infinity times infinity minus 1. But infinity minus 1 is still infinity, and so this is infinity. So this diverges. So you just say that it diverges, or it is positive infinity. I hope you've learned something in this video if you've heard. If you have, make sure you like the video, leave a comment in the comment section, share this video with your friends, and just help me get to 10,000 subscribers because that is my next goal. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.